Hi everyone, my name is Ijaz and I build projects in JavaScript environment and share them here on YouTube. Today I have an AI book recommendations application. We can get recommendation based on last few read books or we can also search with some uh, genre or author etc. I'll quickly demo the application then jump into the code in detail and in the end I will briefly explain how we can monetize such an application. Uh, it will be brief i'll share the links in description for you to read and implement so in this application you can see there are two parts one is one section it has by last read so in this we have to mention uh, last read books at least one we should mention or you can give three books that you have read so that uh, we can, so that the ai can recommend you uh, some books that you may like and the next section is uh, the by filter so over here you can give you can select uh, I have added a list of genres that you can select from then the book length so whether it has to be short stories or like novels so uh, according to your choice and you can also give an author and publication so the AI model will get books from that publication or from that author and according to that genre so <clears throat> I'll start quickly with the by last read, reads and then I'll, an, I'll enter some books and we'll see what the, uh, the A model uh, gives us back. So maybe I can write the art of okay, this one, uh, one title. Then maybe I can write uh, um, so Mr. This, one, this is by VS Naipaul and maybe it's something like I think in I know it. So we'll see what uh, the AI suggests. So here you can see we got some books. So uh, what exactly I'm doing here is I'm sending these uh, list of titles to the OpenAI uh, GPT model and I'm asking just for the titles in return, nothing else, just the titles. Now, uh, then using those titles, I am using, uh, uh, I'm going to Google Books and then I'm fetching the images and the other details like over here if i click on this you can see it has the title uh, by and then over here it was supposed to be category like fiction or genre basically and then from where i can uh, or and the publisher so in google books uh, there's not, not not much information about this book so let's try some other book so over here you can see we have so uh, this is the author then uh, this is a subtitle then this is the genre uh, or the category and then this is the publisher and then uh, there's a brief description of the book so uh, so these details i'm fetching from the uh, google books now the next thing is if i want to buy this book so what you can do is uh, i have given a button for a link basically for check on amazon so once you click on it will take you to the uh, to Amazon page and uh, there are uh, you can see it's pretty simple uh, I just had to give the title and it will give you the search page so you are we are actually being taken to the search page so that uh, the same book can be uh, checked and uh, whatever you like you can buy so let's try some other title okay so yeah so over here you can see there are many different uh, editions so uh, a lot, lot of things uh, uh, once once you go to the amazon so you can search now the uh, other way that uh, we can do this is instead of taking the user to the amazon search page we can actually uh, take the user to the specific page uh, like this the, uh, where the user can actually buy that i'll show once i start uh, going over the code and uh, maybe uh, we can try the filter by in here in the filter section the other part of this application and uh, let's say i'm looking for fiction novel by agatha christian publication i'm just saying any publication so let's see uh, what books do we get and uh, so you can see we are getting yeah we are getting all the uh, books and uh, if i just open this you can see we have uh, yeah this is a subtitle 
Hercule Poirot and uh, if I click on check on Amazon so th this looks fine now uh, <clears throat> I in uh, I'll ne next part is I'll go through the demo I'll go through the uh, sorry I'll go through the code and I'll show how I built it and then I'll show how we can instead of going to the search like let's say if I come here and uh, this is uh, it is not giving me just one book it is giving me a lot of books yeah what if I want the user to land in this page so that the user can uh, directly click on add to cart or something like that so uh, that's what I will show uh, in the code so I will quickly go over the code uh, how I built it so this application is built in Next.js and I'm using Tailwind for the styling of the application and over here you can see the dependencies I'm using headless UI uh, for the models and um, <clears throat> the tabs so those components I took from there and uh, nothing much actually open AI package if you want otherwise you can even directly call the URLs on your own instead of using a package and uh, react hot toast for displaying the toast so this is the index page so in the index page you can see that the page has been divided like this is the title and this is the header where i'm just given the uh, it's basically the header where i'm just mentioning ai book quest now the page is divided into you can see uh, three columns where one column goes to the form and the rest of the two columns go to the suggestions so one is the query where we are giving the form for the user to uh, query and the other is once we get the suggestions we are just displaying it otherwise there is some text i'm just showing it there so if i go go to the query component and you can see this uh, suggestions is the top level so that it can be passed to the next component or the sibling so if i go to the query component so this query component is nothing but uh, it's, it's a tab and you can see i'm taking it from headless ui and there's some styling that i have picked up directly from the headless ui uh, component that they provided so in this uh, there are two tabs uh, this they call it panels so there are two panels and one is the last thread so uh, by last thread one tab and the other one is the filter form so in the last thread we already saw that we were uh, we are giving the uh, form the user to put three and uh, three titles and then uh, we are generating similarly in the filter form again it is the same uh, we have a small form and then we are uh, taking all the values or whatever the user selects or types and then we are sending it to the model now going to the suggestions section that is the right side of the screen once we get the suggestions so you can see once the suggestions are there uh, so i'm just displaying it and on clicking on if on any of the suggestion that is the any of the book so this is the model that uh, that will pop up and this model will have all the uh, data about the book that we want to show so over here you can see this is the model now this model was supposed uh, should have been uh, very generic but i have kept it quite kind of specific for now uh, but yeah it should be more generic so that this model can be used for other use cases as well but uh, you can see i have hard coded few things now the next thing is uh, uh, over here in the link so once we once we uh, the link that i i showed in the demo check on amazon so there are uh, three ways that uh, I have listed here that uh, we can try one is the amazon.com s slash k uh, s and then k is the query parameter and if we just pass the title that's what we are doing so what it does is it will take us to the search page but if we want uh, the uh, the uh, if we want this uh, click on uh, check on amazon to take us to a particular book so we have to give the isbn number uh, now for that the link will change a little so it has to be amazon.com slash dp slash ibn number i uh, sorry isbn number and then if you yeah so this part i will explain or let me quickly tell it right now 
right now if you are thinking about uh, like if you want to monetize your application so what you can do is you can uh, register with amazon uh, as an associate and we can do an affiliate marketing so any uh, isbn number uh, if we put so it'll, uh, this will take us to amazon's that specific product page now it is not specific to uh, books you can do affiliate marketing for any product in amazon so you just have to give the isbn number so this is fine but after that we have to give the tag and with our associate tag uh, which i think we'll get once we register as an associate with uh, amazon i will uh, maybe i can quickly show you that page yeah so yeah so this is uh, some article i got it i'm not promoting anything i am just uh, like i found it i thought i can share it with you and uh, maybe you can go through this article and this is the amazon associates page over here i saw that for the amount of commission that uh, you are eligible if you uh, route the customer to their page and the deed and they actually buy it so uh, the physical books i see it is 0.5 percent so uh, anyhow uh, maybe if you are thinking in these lines in this line so maybe you should uh, read more about it but it's just some uh, article that i will attach in the description of the video uh, it just uh, i'm not actually promoting and uh, just for your reference so coming back to the code i will now uh, go through the uh, generate api which is basically the api that we are calling uh, from the front end uh, to give us the suggestions so in this uh, it's going to be a post call and uh, you can see that uh, uh, I'm, I'm i'm looking for the search type if it is a filter so i'm generating a different prompt and if it is the last red so i'm generating a different prompt and I'll quickly go over the prompt. So if I go over the last red prompt, so it says uh, based on these titles. So from the front end, I'm sending a list of titles as a string. So I'm saying based on these titles, which is a user's last read books, suggest so maximum 12 books, 12 book titles uh, that this user may like in the below JSON format. Do not send any of the last read books in the response. So I don't want you to repeat. Uh, what the user has already read i don't want it to send back that as a suggestion so this is my prompt and i'm giving a small uh, sample output this is how the output has to be and then answer so uh, this is actually very important if we don't give this so what happens is the model will write <clears throat> the model will respond with answer call in space and then json so it's best to give uh, answer whenever you write a prompt similarly if the user has sent some uh, some filter option so in that case i'm just putting a different prompt and i'm saying based on the data below suggest 12 books in the json format now that this is the data so data is uh, like it will be a javascript object basically which i'm just doing a stringify where i'm just mentioning uh, the genre is this book length is novel and uh, author and publication so four key value pairs and then again i'm giving the json output it has to be the same and then answer so whatever uh, the prompt it's generated then i'm sending it to the get completion function that i have created uh, which is in the openai services file that i have created so in this actually i'm doing all the initial setup for openai initial configuration and then uh, there are two models that uh, we can use one GPT 3.5 Turbo or uh, uh, the DaVinci. So I'm using DaVinci at the moment. And if you have GPT 4 or anything uh, or any other uh, AI service, maybe like Google Spam API, so maybe that also you can try. So, <clears throat> so this uh, will generate the output. Now this max tokens doesn't have to be 2000. It can be maybe 200 or something. So whatever it is. And then once we get the response, then I'm just sending the response back. Now, uh, yeah, once we get the response, so uh, one last thing that I want to show is inside the form. So let's say that when the user has sent a query and uh, 
it's the by last trade forms yeah so let's say if the user has sent a query and uh, over here i'm making an api call so you can see that once the form is submitted by last trade so i'm making an api call to generate and it gives back uh, the response here then i send uh, once i get the title so how do i get the images and everything so for that part i have created one function which is get google books info which is in the utils so over here you can see that i am sending it a whole uh, list of titles exactly what openai sends me back then for each title i'm iterating and this is the url basically from the google books api and uh, because we are making a get call to his, to the volumes so we don't have to provide any uh, it's public we don't have to give any api key we don't have to authenticate so in this we can pass a title and you can see v1 slash volumes and then q title and then i'm restricting the language to english and i'm saying max results to one because i just want one result and it will always return by relevance so uh like it will be a relevant result now the thing is uh, by default the max results are 10 and uh, there is no language restriction by default so the results that we get might be in any other language so and yeah over here uh, i'm querying by title we can query by publisher by i think genre or many other things are there and uh, i will quickly uh yeah uh, maybe i can sh just quickly show the yeah so this is the google books getting started page where we can uh, you can read about uh, the uh, read about the google books api and how we can use it and then uh, like maybe if you go over the code you might get more idea or how you can modify so once we get the response I'm extracting these values, subtitle, categories, authors, because authors, a book can be written by many authors, so it's always a list. Description, publisher, image, and ISBN. So uh, there are two types of ISBN. One is ISBN 10 and 13, so I'm pulling ISBN 10. And uh, yeah, I mean, it depends. Uh, I have put a function over here to extract it from the list of ISBNs. So uh, this is how uh, this can be uh, built this was built and uh, if you are interested maybe with uh, modifying the code i will be uh, pushing this in github and i will share that link uh, in the description of the video with other links that you may go through and yeah if you like the video you can just hit, hit like and if you want to see more such videos maybe you can subscribe the channel and that's it thank you so much for